Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is Dads Against Destruction. And we're fortunate to have with us this morning to talk about Dads Against Destruction, uh, Mr. Phil Hawkins and Mr. Demetrius Drawhill. And of course, let me welcome you, Mr. Drawhill and uh, Mr. Hawkins to Thank the show you. this morning and uh, tell you how delighted not only are we to see you, All but right. we're delighted to have an opportunity to talk about the topic that yes, we're going to deal yes, with sir. this morning, Dads Against Destruction. Yes, As a matter of fact, I think we had a group that came on earlier about Moms yeah. Against Destruction, M-O-M, -M, Moms yeah. Against Murder. Yeah, Moms Against I think that, yeah. that was Ms. Uh, Greenlee's Greenlee. program, and yeah. I think both of you are familiar mm -hmm. with uh, Ms. Greenlee. Let's start off with you, uh, Mr. Uh, Hawkins. Wow. I think you're familiar with what we do here by having you to uh, give us some information about your background, your education, and some of your experiences, and talk for about two or three minutes, and Mr. Demetrius will, Demetrius will give us some additional information in reference to his situation, okay. and then we'll move out into this uh, second segment. Okay, I'm Phil Hawkins. I started Daddy Gets Instruction three years ago. You know, living as, in the world that we were living in, I wanted my son to have better, you know. Graduated from Glencliff High School, came from the South Nashville area, and just to having to be with Clement Greenlee one day, we got to talk about we need more dads out here to step up and do the man role. So I told her I'd take that challenge, and it's been going good ever since three, three years. All blessings to God. And so you, 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 you found it, have found this uh, program, Dads Against the... What was the motivation behind that uh, program? I got incarcerated, and my son, which was, was with me, was incarcerated with me, and I, we were like six months, we wasn't around each other. Mm -hmm. So it just took a whole lot of it. It just broke my spirit. Mm -hmm of being, you know, trying to be a friend instead of being a father. Mm -hmm. So I said after that, I prayed to God, everybody opened them doors, he did, and I just changed everything around. Mm -hmm. Demetrius, what about you? What you? What's your situation? Well, my name is Demetrius Dodger, like you said, and uh, I'm the founder, operator of Demetrius Designs. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm an entrepreneur here in the city. Uh, I'm a major supporter of the Dad's program. I'm a dad myself. Mm -hmm. I have two girls. I have a 15-year-old and an 8-year-old. Mm -hmm. And uh, I truly stand behind what the DASH program stands for. Uh, I grew up in the north side of town, John Henry Hill Homes, a single parent household, the oldest of 10 kids. Uh, found myself going down the wrong path, uh, went through different obstacles throughout life, found my way, eventually got back on the right path, went ahead and graduated from Pearl Cone, uh, did a semester in college, but still had one foot in, one foot out of the street life got so consumed up with the street life that I didn't have enough time to go ahead and remain in college. So, uh, and plus I was taking care of the bills and stuff at home, so I had to stand up, like I said, being the oldest of 10 kids, five within my own household. And so, uh, just me just going through different obstacles and stuff in life, found my way, figured it out, became an entrepreneur, and here we are today. You were able to overcome. You think I was some, able to overcome most definitely. Challenges and, 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 and so you would also agree with that, uh, yes, Mr. Hawkins, yes, that sir. if you can find your way mm -hmm. in a real right. sense, and you think that this organization plays a significant role mm -hmm. oh, yes, in sir. helping to uh, people to find their way. Yes, sir. Whether it's dealing with child support, whether it's whether dealing with over citizen, whether it's dealing with uh, get your driver's license, basic things that these guys out here that ain't got comfortable, the system, they keep blaming the system and they ain't got comfortable. We standing here, st no, nah, you don't have to go like that. It's, it's a better way. And so you, 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 your, your program is aimed primarily at younger men. I, I, I wouldn't imagine you accept anybody, but you try to reach the young people. Yeah, we go to the young, we go to the older. Mm -hmm. uh, these days, the older ones, they're older by age, but that mindset is not there. We try to change the mindset. We change the mindset. It they run smooth. Mm -hmm. and, and, and so, Demetrius, uh, mm -hmm. you became involved with this program. How did you become involved with uh, I became dance? involved with this program when uh, Phil reached out to me. He let me know exactly the concept and everything around his program. And like I said, me being a father, I was very supportive of that. And so, in the midst of me helping brand the Dads Against Destruction, he needed some apparel, he needed some things to get himself on out there, and with that being my expertise, I helped brand him. Mm -hmm. I helped brand him in a manner to where when he go out there, people are not only attracted to what it is that he's talking about, but his presentation is professional. Mm -hmm. And so when he step on out there, the kids, they gravitate to him because they look at the apparel and stuff that he have on and they really do enjoy it. And so they're re very receptive to what he's yeah. saying in the midst of talking to him because they like how he look. Mm -hmm. And so that's how me and Phil went ahead and, and 
merge forces in between what it is that he do and what it is I do. And very good. And so what we'll do, uh, we'll come back. We've got about a half a minute before our first commercial break. Mm -hmm. And when we come back, we'll give both of you an opportunity to talk about some examples in terms of some of the lives that uh, the two of you have changed. Mm -hmm. Because I think I indicated earlier that there's a real need for our young people to hear mm -hmm. some of these things. You turn on the That's television right. every morning and you are almost astounded mm -hmm. with some of the things that they're doing. And so what we'll do, we'll have this commercial break and we'll come back and we'll talk about some of these things. And we'll be back with you following this very, very short commercial break.